Good morning! Well, it's like almost noon, so I guess it's not really morning, but... <sighs> Whoa! So it's supposed to be like a really freezing cold day today. That was a bad idea. So I'm gonna make... Oh wait. Yeah, I don't really know what I'm doing, but... I just decided, you know, I need to pick up the camera and just start filming and see what happens. So... I think I'm gonna make chicken tortilla soup today because it's cold and it's supposed to snow. I saw some flurries earlier, but um, yeah, it kind of stopped, but yeah. I was just inspired, you know. I kind of look good in the viewfinder and I haven't even showered yet. Oh yeah, I got my hair faded this weekend. Hey, hey. Maybe I can find a tripod that works. Oh, my arm hurts. But, okay, so first I have to actually shower so I can go buy some stuff to make some soup. Oh man, I didn't even check if the microphone was working. I hope so. So I was watching TikTok. Oop. <laughs> this is like the most awkward way. Okay. I was on TikTok and it said something about being inspired. And, you know, because I told y'all like I get my tarot card readings on TikTok. Okay, this isn't working. <laughs> oh, well. And um, the tarot card reading for today said that, well, I got a couple, because I don't know, maybe it was like this weekend's tarot card readings as well as today's, but it said to stay inspired and all your hard work won't go to waste and something big's gonna happen soon. So I was like, oh, I think this is telling me to go make some chicken tortilla soup, so. I'm gonna go get in the shower. We gonna get ready. We're gonna go to the grocery store. And today we gonna cook. From a bag, cause I'm not like the best chef in the world. I'm gonna like do a half easy and then I'm gonna add some extra stuff. So like it might be from a bag, but I'm gonna make it and add, you know, like some fresh vegetables and call it homemade. I have to go shower. It's already almost noon. I got a late start on the day, but sometimes it's just how it goes. Also, like, what is up with this cold ass weather in Colorado in the middle of summer? Is it summer? Hold on. Hey Siri, what season is it in Colorado right now? I don't know what you mean by, hey Siri, what season is it in Colorado right now? You don't? Is it summer in Colorado? Today is Tuesday, the 8th of September, 2020. Okay, Siri's not very helpful. Let me Google it. What season is it in Colorado right now? Spring. Oh, it's spring. So it's a little colder than summer, but still, we usually don't get snow till October. So it's like, what? Why are we getting snow now? Oh my gosh, and my arm is hurting, so. My tripod doesn't work right, so, wait. So, um, just like holding the camera in front of my face and hoping for the best, so. I'm gonna go shower now. We are back! <laughs> I never say shit like that. Why did I say that this time? I don't know, it's weird. Okay, hold on, let me prop this bitch up. Okay. So I took a shower and then I like got stuck on TikTok for, oh, I don't know. What time was it? I think it was like 11. Well, it's like two. So yeah, that's about how long I got stuck on TikTok for. But I learned so much, but I just don't know how factual it is, you know? Like I learned about investing and then this guy came up on my TikTok talking about what cameras are best for landscapes portraits this that like but then like you got to question everything because it's like how much of this is the truth right nobody's monitoring or is the truth police on tiktok to see like is what they're saying accurate who knows but i enjoy it it's a good distraction for i always think it's only going to be you know like four or five minutes and then it, i look at the clock and it's been hours and i'm like i should know every dance on here for being on TikTok for this amount of time, but 
you know, I don't. Nothing productive, nothing good ever happened from that. So, I'm headed to the grocery store. I need some ingredients to make my soup. We're going to make this... Actually, do I want to make this a cooking video? I don't know if I want to make this a cooking video. Because that means I have to take, like, shots of me cooking. No, it's not that kind of video. So, I'm just going to chitty chat for a little bit. And then... Yeah, we'll see what happens when I get into editing. Hopefully the audio is working on this because I am like being very go with the flow today, not paying attention or checking things. So my, I need to find some new YouTubers. Like seriously, I um, went through my subscriptions and I deleted some people, mostly drama channels because I realized like they all are posting the same exact shit over and over and I'm bored. I don't care. I do not care. <laughs> That's how I know I'm officially old. When you don't care about the drama and the beauty community and no mo. No, I don't know if that really is an indicator. But one of the best creators that I found on YouTube. Did I say TikTok earlier? I'm talking about YouTube now. I really like Luscious Massacre's content. She makes really good shit. Okay, I think I can turn without getting hit. Okay, we're good. Luscious Massacre, and then I think she's been collabing with this girl named Joella Puss, uh, and they're both part of the LGBTQ community, and I love it. I feel like they spread love and positivity and laughs, and that's what we need. We don't need no stunt queens. Ah, and she's always coming through with the, with the realness, the real talk. She ain't afraid to say it how it is, talk about the trade, you know. Not everybody is willing to be open and honest about some of the topics, some of the things the LGBTQ community gets to deal with. So, yeah, it's nice to listen to somebody who's part of the family, you know? And I just laugh. I feel like I'm sitting down and I'm listening to, like, my mom and my aunts talk. Like, when I was a kid, I used to, like, to hear all the gossip because, you know... I just had, I was just a nosy ass kid. So I um, would sit at my, my auntie, my tia's um, kitchen table. And I remember I would just sit there and listen to my mom and her sisters talk about everything. Listening to Luscious and Joella talk, it's, it just makes me feel like home. You know what I mean? I don't know, I don't want to say home because obviously I don't know these bitches, but like it reminds me of being a little kid around my family. My, I was going to say my Hispanic family, but I feel like not just the Hispanic families are like family oriented, like Italians are that way. Um, I think like a lot of the Latin families or maybe everywhere. It's just American families suck and are <laughs> separated. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just like when I started thinking about it, I was like, I feel like everybody's root family is oriented in family, right? So uh, that statement just like didn't make any sense. So I don't know what I'm saying. I don't know if it makes sense, but yeah. Anyway, I love it. Um, oh yeah, yeah. But like there's creators out there that aren't making content no more, like, and I get it, because I feel like YouTube's doing some stuff, uh, I, I don't know what they're doing, actually, I just, I, I feel like they're lost, they don't know what they're gonna, like, they don't know how their rules are clear, I don't know, they don't know how to police the rules, or the community, or I don't know. Because I feel like I just keep hearing creators say, like, a bunch of BS is happening, or this video got flagged for this, but there's like other creators that do the same as that thing and they're totally fine. Like, I don't know. I feel like a lot of people are just aren't posting and it sucks. Cause like, y'all, I was watching network television this morning and guess what? NBC was playing some shit from like 2007, Rachel Ray. I was like, Ugh. even NBC's running out of content. So y'all, we need some good content on YouTube. Not that anybody's watching this video, but I'm gonna pretend. Y'all get out there and film some videos, something. I'm getting bored. Or no, I'm gonna start like 
I thought this was a hive and then I realized it was a pimple yesterday so I plucked it. Uh oh, my ADD is showing. Yeah, I'm gonna end up going on to TikTok and forgetting about YouTube. Oh, okay, so something else I found on TikTok, this will be the last thing I say about TikTok because I feel like I'm talking about TikTok too much. Talk, talk, TikTok, talk. Okay, I kind of told y'all before I'm on Witch Talk, which I don't know if this is really a thing or not because I, I don't, I didn't know a tarot card reader was a witch. I just thought they were like a medium or like physics or psychic or something. Yeah, and they do like these readings every day and then this one person, ooh, I gotta remember the witch they called it. Like, oh, a body map. They were talking about a body map and how to read your body map. And so I went to the website and I was like, very similar to the person that posted the video. Like, her birthday was May 30th, mine was May 11th, so our body, chart or wait what did I call it body chart does that sound right I don't know whatever I was saying before that's what I meant to say again so from like the date and time and exactly when you were born there's like a chart of like your body and like the things that control your life I don't know anyway so it said that I'm like a projector and I forgot what else it said I was but I started looking into like the body map and like what it means and like how it determines your decision making and then it also like how you feel when you're out of sync. It was really interesting and it did really like resonate with me, but I really don't know nothing about it. I don't know if it's like based on the stars or what else could it be based on? I guess it has to be based on astronomy if they needed like your exact birthday and location. I don't know, but then it said to like that my authority or something is to wait for an invitation. Oh, and then all the tarot cards reading keeps saying that I have something coming to me in the next couple weeks. And yeah, so I guess I'm just like waiting for an invitation for something to come in a couple weeks. I don't know. I'll keep y'all posted. I'm like keeping it in the back of my head so that, or wait, that's the side of my head. The back of my head so that, when it pops up, I'll recognize it. I hope I recognize it. And then, you know, I'll move forward from there. But <sighs> I was thinking like, am I gonna vlog inside of Safeway? And then I was like, mm, probably not. But like, I remembered that I bought this really, really, really tiny camera, but I left it at home, so. But maybe in the future, I don't even know if it has a microphone built into it. Yeah, I guess I really should play with it before I decide to film with it. But like I said, I'm kind of like, go with the flow lately, trying not to be too organized. Yeah, I'm trying to see how it works out. This weather, so it's like drizzly in the middle of September, right? And it's actually nice, I like it. I have my sweatshirt on and a long sleeve shirt. And I have jeans on. It's like, it's kind of nice not to be sweaty, hot, and have a sweat stash like instantly when I go outside. It's, it's amazing. But I thought it was summer this morning until I was, oh wait, I think I was filming when I realized it was spring or fall. It's fall, I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's fall. Or wait, no, maybe it said spring. But the leaves are gonna fall off the trees soon, so I think it's fall. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna make look like an idiot on the internet if I post that. Okay, I guess I should just give you my final thoughts. I'm gonna go get my stuff for my soup. Um, if I'm feeling wild, I might record and post another video, but don't get your hopes up because I'm like kind of a procrastinator, if you don't know me already. Yeah, other than that, just appreciate a little moment of your day. That way when you're old and you look back, you don't think that you didn't appreciate the little things in life. And I'm gonna post, or wait, I'm gonna, I'm posting. I'm just gonna post whatever the fuck I want. I don't, I'm not, I don't want a schedule. I don't want rules. I just wanna go with the flow. So I decided that's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> but I'm generally gonna try and stick to four to five days a week. But I'm scared of commitment and responsibility according to my body chart, so I don't want to commit to that and throw my chi off or whatever, so. 
Whoa, that was a really deep response. Anyway, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Be kind to one another. Be well. Go spread love. Appreciate the hoes because they're spreading love, not hate. And appreciate the hoes. I should make a song called that. I got to think of some lyrics. All right. I will see you guys tomorrow or on the next one. No, it, yeah. Bye. <laughs>